of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the Long Rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Hold it, Lieutenant. That's the shortest we've been chasing. Now, that's not the main bunch of them. It's old Shawnee trick. Four, maybe five braves make us think they are a whole war party. But just a handful, they appear to be all around us. Now, you take it from me, Lieutenant. If that were the whole raiding party, they wouldn't just be pot shotting at us. They'd hit us with all they got. Maybe by now, chief and main war party attack Pine Flats. Now, you're right. This bunch is just trying to decoy us off. My folks got a shack just this side of Pine Flats. Well, then we'd best not be dawdling here, Lieutenant. Let's not stop now, Tessa. The Redcoats are not far behind. They will never catch us. This time they might. Hawkeye, Chingachgook, lead them. We have all supplies we need. More killing is useless. In Council TP Nangus, we listen to you. On Warpath, Tessan is chief. Attack cabin. Wait! What honor is there taking scalps from old man and woman? They are white. Leave them. Only wild beasts kill for sake of killing. Nangus grows soft. Seize him! I reckon our job here is finished, Lieutenant. If you'd like, we'll leave you be for a while. Sometimes a man wants to be alone, especially when his heart's flooded with tears. He doesn't hanker to have anyone see him spilling out of his eyes. When warrior have look on face like young Redcoat, mean he have revenge in heart, not sorrow. Tears won't bring my and pa back. But I swear that for every drop of blood they've shed, I'm going to take a Shawnee life. Being vengeful will only lead to more senseless killing. If you let those tears out of you, you'd feel better for it. I'll feel better only when there's tears and lamenting in every teepee of the Shawnees. His son got away from us about here. I figured it was plain suicide to try and follow him into Pine Flats with just a handful of men. Yes, good judgment, Hawkeye. What do you think about Lieutenant Parker's new plan of skirting the flats and hitting the Shawnee village head on? Major, without meaning any disrespect for the Lieutenant, the Shawnees would see a body of men coming hours before they could reach him. They could easily set up an ambush that would just wipe us out. We keep eyes open. Maybe we catch Taysan when he try for raid. By that time, there won't be a cabin standing or a settler with a scalp on his head. Well, like I told you, Major, Put a cannon on wheels, give me a squad of men, and I'll blast that Shawnee village right off in the face of the map. If you're going to take cannon, you might as well go marching through the forest with drums of beating and fifes of blowing. You take care of the scout and Hawkeye, and do us the favor of keeping your opinions to yourself. Parker, I asked Hawkeye for his opinion. I always figured, Major, if you could just sit down to a powwow with Nangus, their council chief, 
Your differences could be settled peaceful like. It's ain't Nagus that's the thorn in our side. It's that bloodthirsty Tisan. I agree with you there, Lieutenant. We may be able to get rid of that thorn quicker than you think. Right now's their salt making time. They'll all be gathered right here, with Nangus leading them instead of Tessan. The salt marsh. A natural ambush trap for them. This time we can get every man jack of them before they knew what hit them. That'd be like murder. When they gather salt, squaw and papoose there, out in open. What of it? They kill our women and children. Chingachgook and me will not be party to any massacre. You'd be piping a different tune if it was your ma and pa who was killed by Tisan and his braves. My pa died under the tomahawk, but I don't follow a trail of vengeance against innocent women and children. A Shawnee's a Shawnee. And I'll not rest until the whole parcel of me is sent to the happy hunting ground. Shawnee like all men. White or red. Want peace, not war. Chingachgook's right. It's only a handful like Tisan that keeps them stirred up. Major, if you and Nangus could just get together on a powwow, I'm sure you'd agree on a treaty. <laughs> Before any of us could get close enough to say anything to Nangus, our scalps would be hanging from his teepee. And it'll be mine and Chingachgook's scalp. Let me try and bring Nangus in under a flag of truce. <laughs> flag of truce, or no flag of truce. The only Shawnee you can trust is the one with a rifle ball between his eyes. When revenge fill heart, sometimes tongues speak angry words. Much sorry later. Lieutenant, men of honor respect a flag of truce. If you're not back with Nangus within 48 hours, Lieutenant Parker will have orders to start for the salt marsh at the head of his men. We'll do our best, Major. Hunt meat for our tribe. You welcome our enemies. Hawkeye, Chingachgook, not enemy. They bring word of peace. The trick. Seize them. Wait. Council Tipi, not war path, Tesson. I speak here. I go to fort. Talk with Yankee's chief. Make peace. Only one way to make peace. Kill. Drive out, white man. Killing will only lead to more killing. If you stay on the warpath, Tessan, you'll wind up facing more guns than you ever thought existed. Tessan, no fear white man's guns. White man's tongue like serpent. Nangus go to fort. Nangus die. White man make truce, not shoot. This no stop rifle bullets. Tessan. Many braves go with Nangus. A show of force will end the powwow before it's even started. I give you my word on it. Word of Hawkeye, good. I go to fort. Alone. <laughs> Maybe Hawkeye word not so good. If white man knife cut through, to heart of peace-loving Nangus. Hawkeye, can't you reason with him? Well, it appears to me it isn't so unreasonable for Nangus to not want to hand over Tisan along with everything else. But he's admitted that Tisan's been leading all the raiding parties for the past few months. Nangus, come, make peace. No talk, make Tisan prisoner. Major, if one of your men broke a regulation, you wouldn't want an Indian courts martial to try him, would you? I see your point. Well, it'll take most of the night to get the terms down on paper. Meantime, you're a guest of the fort. I think it'd be a good idea if the chief had an honor guard. There's liable to be more than one hothead around here who calculates the only way to pow out with a Shawnee is to shoot him first and talk afterwards. Young Redcoat here make good guard of honor. Lieutenant, I know you realize that a good soldier wouldn't allow his personal feelings to overcome his sense of duty. But, and remember, the chief's safety is as much your responsibility as it is mine. Yes, sir.
Tessa. Tessa! <laughs> When sun come up, our tribe will make white man pay for your life. There's no question that Nangus was killed with your knife, Parker. But not by my hand. I've told you time and again that whoever hit me on the head stabbed Nangus with a knife and then put it back in its sheath. When Hawkeye and Chinggis Cook found you, you were standing over the chief's body. Well, so would you be if you'd just come to and seen him sprawled there. I can't accept that, Parker. And the fact remains that the court has already found you guilty of the murder of Nangus in order to satisfy a personal revenge. I never killed that engine. You've got to believe me. I give you my word as an officer. An officer would never have violated the honor of the regiment and placed this entire fort in dire peril. Under the circumstances, and with due regard to the process of law, I have no alternative but to condemn you to be shot to death by a firing squad. Sir, Tazan is coming with some of his warriors. That crafty heathen. Yes, he knows he's safe under a flag of truce. I can't allow him in here after what's happened to Nangus. If he finds out about that, all Hades will break loose. Be kind of a good idea to find out just what he wants. Remove the prisoner. Bring Tazan in here. And mind you, I want complete silence as to what's happened to Nangus. Yes, sir. Kind of strange, him showing up just at this time. That's why I'm going to see him. I must find out what he has on his mind. He say he not believe in truce flag. He say, Nangus come to fort for power, he die. Yankee soldiers fear Tessin, even when he come with peace sign. What was a sign of peace ever meant to you? Hawk, I say, white flag. Same like peace wampum. When so, enemies talk in peace. You know we've already started peace talks with Nangus. Nangus here, plenty time make talk. Tessan, come. Take great council chief back to village. Hawkeye, bring Nangus here. Hawkeye, take Nangus back. Tessan, once speak to Nangus. The way you and Nangus spoke to each other back in the teepee, I calculate he doesn't want you to have any part of this powwow. Maybe Tessan change Nangus' mind. Take Tessan to council chief now. Well, uh, we wouldn't want to do that without getting his permission first. And I'm certain we won't be able to get it. We no go back without Nangus. We wait one son. You no bring Nangus to us, we come back, take him, and fort. Shut the gates and double the guards. When Shawnee's no council chief is dead, whole tribe followed Tassan on warpath. I haven't enough men to hold off a mess attack. If you could turn over Nangus's killer to the tribe, then they'd be sure that you weren't responsible for his death and have no reason to listen to Tessan. Hawkeye, may I remind you that you defended Nangus when he refused to turn Tessan over to me? I'll defend Parker if he costs me this fort and every man in it. Well, sooner or later, them Shawnees are going to find out about Nangus. And unless we can figure out some way to convince them that it was the doing of one man and not under your orders, you might as well abandon this fort and beat a hasty retreat. There may be one way of doing that. Turn over Nangus's body to the tribal council with full military honors and allow the council chiefs to witness the execution of his murderer. You might have something there, Major. Must be sure. Have right man before firing squad. Shawnee Feather.
Doesn't belong to Nangus. Maybe young white warriors speak with straight tongue. Shawnee Weasel will sneak in at night. Kill Chief. Yeah, I reckon we know who that weasel is. But knowing it's one thing and proving it's another. <laughs> Sometimes Tommy Hawk bring truth fast. Well, only as a last resort. You know, there's an old saying that dead men tell no tales. I got a notion that sometimes a dead man can be mighty helpful in catching his murderer. What you mean, my brother? Turn around. Huh? Turn around. You make a mighty fine-looking Shawnee chief. Me Mohican chief, not Shawnee. I know it, but just the same, you make a mighty fine-looking Shawnee chief. <laughs> we come for Nankus. Leave gate open. We no stay in closed forts. Many braves wait in woods. Gate open, Yankees no try trick like with Nangus. If it'd make the great war chief any happier, Major, I'd leave the gate open. Very well. Leave the gates open. You have my word. You came in peace, you can leave in peace. But at the first move of any of your braves towards the fort, I take you all hostages. Where Nangus? I regret to inform you, Nangus is dead. Tis right. Yengis kill when Sony not strong. Come, Otano, we get braves. Kill all white men, burn down fort. Otano, don't listen to Tizen. I sent for you and the other chiefs to prove to you that white man's justice is as strong as your own. Yengis twisted tongue bring only death. Otano, Major Khan's trying to tell you he invited you here to witness the shooting of Nangus's killer. Blood of Nangus cry out for blood of all white men. You're being avenged right here and now. There he is facing a firing squad. Otano, we take fort. Kill all. Now Nangus dead. Otano, council chief. Like Nangus, Otano not want warpath. We watch. See white man avenge death of Nangus. Son, if you keep your eyes open, you might see the ghost of Nangus watching his murderer get punished. Mr. Parker, it's my painful duty to carry out the execution to which you've been condemned. Cut the formalities. Let's get it over with. Put that away. I want to see the faces of the men who are murdering me. Are you going to watch me die close in, or are you going to join them bloodthirsty Indians? I'm hoping you might walk away from here, Parker. Don't play cat and mouse with me, Hawkeye. Leave me alone. Hawkeye, I've been reconsidering your new evidence. I should grant Parker a new court's martial. We can't stop now. There'd be no holding back Taysan and those Shawnees. Carry on, but keep your eyes open. What? What, John? Ready on the firing line. not rest till Tassan paid with life. They kill. They kill Nangus. 
They can all for one piece with like that! This one back to our village. You dead? No, no, go back! Hawkeye promised give Otano murderer of Nangus. He keep word. Weight of guilt make Tesan think Mohican spirit of Nangus. When Otano take body of chief back to trial, Nangus will wear feathers of eagle for burial. Lieutenant, I consider it a great honor to reinstate you. And if you will accept my humble apology, why, I'd consider that a great honor too. Sir, I'd have done the same as you did if there'd been a young hothead shooting off his mouth about getting revenge against the Indians. Facing that firing squad made me see that you can't blame everybody for what one man does. The least I can do for Parker is to send in a recommendation for his promotion. Be glad to deliver it for you, Major. I thought you would. You'll find it in this dispatch, along with a copy of the peace treaty signed by the Shawnees. Sir, Chief Otano has a gift for you. Salt. Oh, salt is most great gift mean that white man is welcome in Shawnee Village. I reckon you can leave the gates of the fort open now. Well, thank you, Otano, very much. Well, Major, we'd best be getting along. Well, thank you, Hawkeye. Goodbye. Bye. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> <laughs>